Hello friends, today I am going to explain you about how to create an unsigned IPA using Xcode 11.0 onwards. So first you need to create a new project and create single view app on Xcode. Select appropriate project name, package ID and the language as well and click next so that you can create this project under proper directory. Select the output directory where you can create this project. I'm just creating hello world. After successful creation, just compile the project and make sure that the project compiles. So you can see that Xcode 11.2.1 that I'm using for this demo purpose. Select the targets under uh, project. Select required target. Then uncheck automatically manage sign in option. Then go to build settings. Then search for code sign. Under code signing identity, select other option that gives a pop up. So in that delete app development option. So it should be an empty value. Now you can stop it in this place and we can go to other setting. So before going to the next step, go to application folder on your Mac system. So go to application folder, select Xcode and then make it as show package contents. Selecting show package contents you can see series of subfolders like contents, developer, Xcode, platform, all these things. This is I have mentioned uh, in the description or you can just follow the image which I shown and also keep the backup of SDK settings plist original file somewhere in the desktop and open this SDK settings plist file using Xcode and after opening the SDK make some necessary changes which are shown in the image. The first one is ad hoc code signing allowed option should be set to S and uh, another, another option what you have to make is code signing required option should be set to no. After modifying these two settings, save and close this uh, plist file. Go back to Xcode project and restart Xcode. Under build settings, use add user defined settings which I've shown in the image. Select user defined settings. It is under build settings. Then delete new setting that is by default uh, option. Delete new settings. Add code signing allowed key in the left side and you need to set the value as well. This should be no. Code signing allowed option should be set to no. Then again uh, once you are done with that just enter so that you can see the key value pair. Build the project and make sure that there is no errors and automatically manage sign in option should be disabled. Then go to your product schema and edit schema and edit the schema. Change the build configuration to release. Make sure debug executable is unchecked. And close the view. After closing, clean the project and make sure that you are using iOS generic device as a har hardware. So go to product and build and clean and build. That's the uh, recommended one and wait till it succeeds. So after uh, a successful build, use product archive uh, option. So this will generate an archived file uh, in the uh, organizer. So after uh, selecting the archived file, use show in finder option. 
this will uh, take you to the location where the archive file is stored now select the archive file and again uh, after selecting make it as show package contains so this will again show you the product applications and your application name with app file select the uh, app file copy dot app file under application folder to somewhere in the desktop create a new folder called payload and paste the dot app file inside the payload folder select right click on payload and select compress payload option so which creates a payload.zip file now rename payload.zip to payload.ipa file and click enter after renaming into .ipa which gives an option to keep zip or keep ipa use keep ipa option which will generate payload.ipa unsigned file which is ready to distribute to your clients thank you for watching this video please subscribe this channel for more videos